All right, in this video we're going to add and subtract radicals. I'm getting kind of tired, so I might go a little quick. Okay, we know that 2x plus 3x is 5x. So now we can just replace the x's with some sort of radical. Let's say 2 radical 3 plus 3 radical 3. That's going to be equal to 5 radical 3. You can add and subtract radicals just like you do with combining like terms with algebraic equations and expressions as long as, and this is really important, as long as the radical and the number underneath it is the same. If these change, for instance, if I were to say to you 2 square roots of 5 plus 3 square roots of 2, that does not combine or simplify. These are not the same. You can't add or subtract them. These have to match. Must match. Okay? So let's go ahead and do a couple. Let's try this one. Um, let's say that we have 2 square roots of 7 plus 3 square roots of 7. That's going to be equal to, just like above, 5 square roots of 7. But, let's think about 2 square roots of 18 plus 5 square roots of 2. Do you think this can be combined? You may at first look at it and say, no, these aren't the same but you can make them the same. If you call from one of those simplifying radical videos, you can simplify this 18. It's got a perfect square root factor of 9. This is the same thing as 2 times the square root of 9 times 2 plus 5 times the square root of 2. Now this 9 can come out as a 3. That's going to leave us with 2 times 3, 6 square roots of 2 plus 5 square roots of 2 and that's going to be equal to 11 square roots of 2. No problem, we can add and subtract them now because these match. Okay, one more problem. Let's say we have um, let's say we have 12b cubed plus 27b cubed all underneath your radical and we want to know what this equals well go ahead and break it up don't be shy 12 is 4 times 3 Okay, there's your perfect square factor there. b cubed is b squared times b to the first. There's your perfect square factor there. Let's do the same for this one. 27 is 9 times 3. There's your perfect square factor. And just like before, b cubed is b squared times b. There's your perfect square factor. Now let's go ahead and pull out these perfect square factors. The 4 comes out as a 2. The b squared comes out as a b. And what's left underneath is the 3 and the b. The 9 comes out as a 3. And the b squared comes out as a b. And all that's left under is 3b. Now notice the radicals are the same, so the same rules apply. 2b and 3b is 5b. You add the outsides, just like we did here. 6 and 5 gave us 11. 2 and 5 gave us 7. Excuse me, 6 and 5 gave us 11. 2 and 3 gave us 5. We can do the same thing here. 2b plus 3b is 5b. And then underneath the radical is 3b. So these can get a little tricky, but just remember that the rules apply, the rules are the rules, they don't change. Okay? End of the video.